Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extreme Z Awakened AGL Metal Cooler at Rainbow Status on the global side of the game. Now, real quick, before we get into the gameplay, I'll be going over his EZA details, so if you guys happen to already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, so starting with his leader skill, it is Wicked Bloodline, category key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 170%, or extreme AGL types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. His super attack raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage and lowers enemies attack and defense. And his passive is key plus 2, attack and defense plus 150%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each attack received up to 100% plus an additional key plus 1 and chance of performing a critical hit plus 20% when there is a super class enemy plus an additional key plus 1 and chance of performing a critical hit plus 20% when there is a pure Saiyans category enemy recovers 10% HP at the end of the turn in which an attack was received and core appears when conditions are met. And for the core transformation or giant form, it's basically, uh, I believe, two turns of immortality and the super attack uh, massively raises attack temporarily and causes destructive damage. And the passive is just key plus two. So there you go. That is the AGL Metal Cooler Extreme Z Awakening. As you can see, his links are not fully maxed out. I tried my best last night, but I really just wanted to get big bad bosses to level 10. It wasn't happening. Um, the good thing is that we only have to lose a little bit of HP to activate it, so we should see it for most of the showcase. But starting on this first turn, uh, we obviously don't have big bad bosses, and he is starting with 213,000 defense, which is not bad. It's not bad. It's not great, but I would say it's decent, especially considering that uh, he'll get a lot more with big bad bosses and also after he builds his passive a little bit. So let's give this guy a couple of orbs. Oh, another thing to note is that he's only getting 170% for the LR Final Form Cooler Leader skills as opposed to 200% because he's not in the uh, transformation boost category, right? Hopefully, once uh, the new Metal Cooler comes out, the uh, LR Metal Cooler for part two, will be able to get a 200% leader skill for this guy. So what you're seeing right now is under 170% leads, but he should be even better with uh, obviously 200% leaders, right? So first turn, not bad, not bad. He got, what, roughly 4.5 mil per super. We got two supers, so in total, that's like nine mil attack. I know you can't really calculate it like that, but the point is, he did some good damage on turn one. Next turn, he comes around. He'll take a, a couple more hits, and uh, he'll be even tankier. He'll hit even harder. So overall, I mean, I have used him a little bit, not too much, but I gotta say, guys, he's been pretty impressive so far. He's been pretty impressive so far. A lot of people, when they first saw his Extreme Z Awakening details, were very, very... Uh, critical, I would say, like there was not a lot of positive re uh, reception to his initial EZA details, but in my video I was like, guys, it's it's honestly not going to be that bad. So now we have uh, 220,000 defense, keep in mind that we did lose the support from Turles, so 220k, and we'll definitely hit a little bit harder because we are going to be getting uh, a lot more hits, so basically our passive will be maxed out after this turn. So here we go, uh, that's the second hit, that's the third hit, that's the fourth hit, and that's the fifth hit. So maxed out passive now, 6.2 mil is the super. I'm hoping that we actually take some damage here because once again, we don't have big bad bosses available yet. And I really want to get big bad bosses going. So yeah, I hope that STR Cooler actually takes a super here. That would be ideal. Let's go. Goku, come on, you super me all the time when I don't... I was going to say, he supers me all the time when I don't want him to super me. And now what I'm asking for it, he's like, no, I'm good. 
I'm a, I'm a just chill. So <laughs> that's that's awesome. Um, okay, well let's put the STR cooler in the first slot. I guess he's obviously not the most tanky in the first slot, but he's not bad in slot one. So if we get supered before we get a chance to attack, we might actually there we go. We might take some damage here, even with type advantage. 55k. I was kind of hoping for like 100k. And we're gonna heal back up anyways next turn because of the Metamorphosis Link, so... Um, yeah, getting big bad bosses actually in the showcase might be a little bit harder than I was anticipating. We'll make it happen though. We'll make it happen though. It might just take some time and some work. But uh, eventually, eventually we should fall below 96% HP. I mean, it's just a testament to how good this team has become, right? Like the Wicked Bloodline team is, is, is pretty insane now. It's pretty insane now. Okay, so we're up to 449k defense. That's what I like to see. And with, uh, we don't even have big, oh, we do have big, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, we don't have big bad bosses. That's not true. We did activate big bad bosses. So, 449k defense with support on this rotation. We should be... Did we just lose Big Bad? Oh, we just lost Big Bad Bosses. Okay. Well, that's wonderful. So, we lost Big Bad Bosses. We just had it for a brief moment. And now it's gone. But, uh, if we had Big Bad Bosses with support on the rotation, which we will see most likely the next time that cooler comes around, then he should be over 500k defense. And once again, keep in mind that this is under 170% leader skills. So with 200% leader skills, he should be over 600k defense when fully built up, right? So even though that's not gonna, you know, be super safe in red zone, for example, you're still gonna take some damage in red zone, you're still gonna take some damage in uh, the cell max event, obviously, and a super in extreme super battle road will still do some damage, most likely, but he still tanks really well. So all the people that were down on his defense, I think uh, were a little bit too quick to judge, honestly. And uh, everyone that was, you know, calling him trash and saying like, he's a bad extremes awakening. Um, I can't really agree with that. I really can't, I really can't. I think he does good damage. I think that his defense is, while not the best, really solid really really solid defensively and um yeah one more there's to say guys i mean we'll finish the showcase obviously i still want to get that big bad boss's link going which doesn't seem to be happening just because this team is apparently too tanky even though we have this guy who should be taking damage but he's not so it's actually kind of annoying so we have 426k defense here um, maybe we can take a super immediately and get big bad bosses. That would be dope. We do not. 7.2 mil attack though. That's not bad. That's not bad. An additional super would be fantastic. Come on. Damn it. Yo, I gave this guy 30 additional guys. I don't know if you saw it. In his hidden potential right now, he has level 30 additional. And we only got one additional super. What is this nonsense, man? This is actually really sad. <laughs> it's actually really sad. Okay, Goku, at the very least, you can super me now. So I get big bad bosses. Of course he doesn't. What is happening? I don't understand. What 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 is happening right now? Okay, so now. Hopefully he can super our cooler or maybe even Frieza. Frieza at getting super here actually is kind of scary because of the type disadvantage. But uh, I think we would still survive. And we kind of need to take some damage here. In fact, I probably shouldn't have brought the LR cooler leaders because they're doing a little bit too much damage. <laughs> like, look at this guy, man. He's going off. Okay, so obviously... Metal Cooler is not as good as uh, LR Final Form Cooler. And I should have known that this guy would take the spotlight away from the Final Form, or sorry, the uh, Metal Cooler in this showcase. So that was really my mistake. Uh, 
can you, Goku, can you super me, please? Yo, why isn't he super? Is Goku bugged? I swear this Goku's bugged, man. He hasn't supered us in two rotations. And we're still at full HP. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, okay. So I'm going to put Metal Cooler in the first lap, 426k defense. If we take a super, though, we should take a lot of damage. We should take a lot of damage. So here's the hoping that that happened. There we go. Thank you. Okay, we're getting supered here. This guy hits really, really hard, so most units would die here. He's taking 529k. So we almost died, but we survived, which uh, I'll take. And now we have 8.66 mil attack. That seems to be the highest we'll be able to get on this, uh, you know, on this, on this run. And of course he dodges the second super, but that was a good sign, man. That, that was a good showing. We got 8.6. And 9, you combine those, that's about 17.6 mil, right? So, very, very good turn. Once I get big bad bosses maxed out, which uh, should be sooner than later, um, he's going to be consistently getting over 8 mil attack. So, yeah, that's exciting. And um, this might be the last we've seen of the of the metal cooler because I think on this turn we'll probably finish off we'll probably finish off the full power Goku I mean I can try to keep him alive but at the same time I kind of want to see cooler do his active skill so yeah let's do the cooler active skill man screw it <laughs> I see it so rarely these days uh, because most events we basically finish before he gets a chance to you know activate this animation this active skill so and now that i have a chance to do it on a video i gotta go for it so there you oh my god <laughs> this guy is ridiculous man this man is ridiculous 16 mil crit on the active skill once again this is a metal cooler showcase but i'm not overly surprised that LR Final Form Cooler kind of stole the spotlight. I mean, this guy just, any team he's on, he's going to be the MVP. Like, he's going to be the best unit. He is arguably the best unit in the game. People are still making cases for others. I understand. But if he's not your, your, your best unit, or he's not on the top of your best unit list, he's at least top two. And in my opinion, he's not two. So anyways... That's a different debate for a different video for a different day. That was the showcase for the AGL Metal Cooler. And, uh, dude, he's really good. He's really, really good. He's not the best EZA. I've never said he was the best EZA, but I think a lot of people were too quick to judge him. A lot of people were not giving him the credit that uh, he deserved. And uh, I just think he's a really, really solid EZA. He's going to be usable for at least the next 6 to 12 months and then we'll see from there obviously you know uh, EZAs are getting uh, replaced all the time they're getting uh, outdated all the time but for now it's very good and I'm more than satisfied with it so that's gonna do it for today's showcase guys thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments down below what you think about AGL Metal Coolers Extreme Z Awakening and uh, as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out